Thanks. Hello Internet Dwellers and welcome back to Bit by Block, the show where we recreate locations from movies and television shows in Minecraft in hopes of one day possibly doing some machinima with it. Uh, welcome back to the show, everybody. Um, yeah, that was a very, very long time lapse. And uh, basically, I'm at the point now with this build where it's very tedious to be doing some of this stuff on the episode and actually be doing it in standard we, we, we basically we, we would just be here forever so um i'm deciding now for some of these we're going to start doing a lot longer these time lapses um there should really only actually be maybe one more episode or two more episodes after this one of this build 
uh, just because I feel like a lot of it can just be done through that time lapse just to kind of get through it. The core of the build, which was building the actual clock tower, that was the key uh, portion of the build itself that I wanted to make sure that we focused on, which we did, and we did really well. And then obviously Lou's Diner is a very unique location. However, um, as you saw in the rest of that uh, time lapse, we actually got a lot extra done. Um, this I kind of stopped right there. Uh, now we're getting into the more complicated. Even though they're the they're, they're, they're the simpler build, they're not as uh, over the top and as as huge as as like the Lou's Diner and this one over here, or even the Clock Tower. They are still equally as complicated. Um, we'll get there in a second. So let's go over here and we'll show what we did. Okay, so coming off of Lou's Diners here, um, we ended up building the little alleyway. Now this is the alleyway here, and again I, I'm taking screenshots from the movie from Back to the Future Part One from when Marty first shows up so this is what these are all based on and obviously it's based uh, as as well as we can make it um just you know within minecraft so uh for those of you who who know part two obviously as well this is the actually this is the alleyway that marty walks because doc and them park uh pretty much this wall is non-existent there and it goes back and that's the alleyway well this is where marty walks out and is like the future and then everything and blah blah, blah and all that fun stuff so that's our alleyway uh came off of this now uh my original building of the uh of, of lou's diner and the record store next door did not have my goodness that rain is annoying isn't it and uh there we go i, I know that showed up a handful of times in the <laughs> <laughs> in the time lapse too uh anyways no so my original build for this building did not have the windows up here uh and it also, it also didn't i forgot about this little jut out part because this is the part again from part two where um I, I i do keep referencing part two but it's because they didn't really spend any time in this alleyway in part one this is where uh doc is going to go throw the almanac in the trash and then they see the jennifer and the cops there and they hide around this wall this is where old biff came out and said that doc invented a time machine blah blah all that fun stuff anyway so i had to build that out um instruction the same wise in the actual screenshots there is a giant metal uh looks kind of like a sliding door almost here that actually blocks off the rest of this alleyway and that was yeah, you know, in 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 the studio layout of the back lot, this is to block off this portion because in reality there is a whole other uh, city street, or at least there was a whole other city street back here, so they couldn't have this uh, hallway or this alleyway continue all the way down. Um, this was a huge build, um, going off of only a couple kind of quick screen grabs. Now there's a really there's a really good one of pretty much about like uh about like this my depth of fields or my my point of view is a little off so you're seeing a little bit more but it was there was pretty much a, a shot of this uh, again when marty first walks in that shows the car pulling up and the guy's coming out for the self-serve but and then there was a random like distant shot of like this portion through here behind a whole bunch of stuff so i kind of pieced them together to form what the actual garage looks like and as far as i can tell there is no window up here these are supposed to be representing of the gas station sign i obviously i i, I don't have a way of making those letters work um but there was a there was a giant window up here and there was also a little door down here uh, along this side according to a couple of those frames so now what i did as you could see quickly in that I did not do the interior of uh, of the building, um, and I did put a roof on so it would darken it up, but then the back wall is all black because if you're ever going to be outside of this, we're never going to go in that, uh, kind of like what we did for Lou's Diner and even in some extent inside the clock tower. We're never going to go in there, but from out here, that looks fine. You can't actually tell that we didn't fully build the, you know, the, the, the station out because technically it probably would go a little bit deeper than that, but we also didn't, you know, we didn't put the back walls on and then here this building is just you know what seven blocks deep because again i'm only building what you would ever actually see and truthfully i don't know how much of these buildings you're gonna see anyways if we do the machinima um this section was very complicated trying to achieve the look that's in the movie just because we're limited on the anti types of designs this is i think this is a bicycle shop and then this is uh some like law office if i recall correctly so and also trying to get it so it would be in the correct alignment for where this road is it was just yeah it was <laughs> it was a little hard i'm not gonna lie that was not these were these were and originally the whole plan was this was going to be just the time lapse and then we were going to build the bank um in real time but 
once I finish this, I'm like, okay, if, and this was technically the two easy ones. I That bank just terrified me, so we threw it all into that. Haven't built these guys over here yet. These are going to be fairly simple. The movie theater goes right through here, and then there's a smaller um, black building, like a small little boxy black building that's here, and then it's basically it's standard kind of New York brownstone-esque buildings that are right here. Uh, again, you don't see much uh, of that, and there's actually... In the real set, there's a solid wall that goes across here, and that road turns off that way. It doesn't keep going back that way, so I'll modify that when I get around to it. This side of the street is going to be all done through time-lapse, uh, guaranteeingly, just because it's kind of boring and that's not anything of real excitement. Uh, most of the action for the movie tends to take place over on this side of the back lot anyways, so that's why these I'm actually paying a little more attention to, because that's just going to be back over there. So, now the bank. This is the... Oh, I don't remember what's actually called in the movie. If it's technically the uh, like a like a Chase Bank or if it's if it's anything particular, but I do know it is. Oh, sorry, it's a Bank of America. That's what it is. Um, this one again, as you could see from from watching the time lapse there really quickly, this one was one of those where I wanted it to be in the correct spot, and then as I started building it, um, I realized like, well, we want, I want to have some depth to it because I don't. This is where my liberty is coming into play. I, I don't want these just to be entirely flat like what we discussed back here between Lou's Diner and the record shop. I actually do not like these buildings being flat up against each other like this. If I could have depth, I would, but they're close enough to each other that it, it doesn't make sense to, to separate them out. Whereas the bank here does have some depth to it. Um, I do realize as well... Actually, now that I'm looking at this, this does need to be filled in. I had this started filling in, and then I didn't know how well this looked. But looking at my uh, my stuff here now, it does look like this is all filled in through here. Oh, there's actually a park bench over here. I didn't notice that my building. Um, I'm looking at screenshots while I'm talking. So, but anyways, so this is the bank. This is the uh, the Bank of America here. Um, it is a three story structure. It does have kind of different design schemes and different concepts going all the way up here. Uh, a little bit of an overhang here. It does say Bank of America above this ledge, but again, I can't do that. And it is a three story. There's a in the one wide shot of uh, the the courthouse square as Marty's walking over to this thing. You can actually tell that it is a uh, it is a three-story building you know what first let's let's change let's change this sucker where's where's normal there we go let's go back to normal ah, that's a little better actually that's a little that's a lot better yeah because the shot's pretty much like this in the movie uh, when we can we can see all of like this side and that's kind of that's actually the screenshots I'm going off of um, anyway so um, just like uh, over here with the gas station uh, this is not a full uh, fully depth actually this is pretty much the exact depth as what is on the back lot um, some of the screenshots only show this building going back so far and again that's mostly because if we're ever filming it we'd be filming it down here and we're not going to be really looking up there we're going to be primarily looking you know we'll be where we'll probably be about there ish with a shallower uh, field of view um so you'll never really worry about seeing too much you know you don't need to see all the way back and if it becomes an issue then we'll just extend that design back a little bit but uh again so it's just uh it's all kind of that same black background just to kind of hide it um these are there are uh three specifically three billboards i think at least three maybe there's a fourth one down here going off in this direction uh because then this is where the actual back lot changes as well so i'm not going to continue that way until we figure out what's going to be going down that road so i kind of left that for now um but yeah i started building that and then i just moved on directly to the buildings that are right next to it now these are all like i said these are all the very very tiny buildings these are going to be kind of time consuming and i'm not going to spend a lot of time in this episode most of this episode was just the time lapse that you guys watched so there's not going to be a ton of building uh, outside of time lapse uh this time um yeah and this stuff just like this building was a piece of cake but then i realized after i built it that i fell into that gap like over there where i didn't want the buildings together i wanted them separately so i pushed this next building back so then this one could be forward and then the next one is going to be back one and this one's going to be back one a ways down here until there's a, a, a brick structure probably about around here ish like about around there um oops 
that will then be back forward again. So we just kind of keep alternating that because then that gives us just kind of a, a nice look down here. It gives us that depth that we're trying to go for. And, uh, and then again, these will be all filled in eventually in the back here using the same exact method of just, we throw a roof on it so that way it gets dark and then we'll come all the way down. Um, I, and I do, I do like, however, you know, even though we're not detailing these incredibly, you know, with, a, with a ton of detail in them, um, I still do like the, the concept of, dividing these walls off just so that way any kind of glance inside the structure uh does appear to have it does appear to have depth basically and that's that's kind of all that i care about um, i want a roof and i want depth then that way we don't you know just in case the camera can see in there they don't look completely like hollow structures uh, uh chad over at one minute gamer yes he made a really good point he's like so basically you're just building the <laughs> You're just building the New York back lot, and I'm like, yeah, basically, I'm just building the Universal's back lot. Um, but that's the point. Like, I mean, if if we want to down the line, if we really wanted to go back to these structures and go, okay, we are going to fully flesh out the interiors of all these buildings, then great, we will do that. But until that day comes, we're we're probably not going to be doing that. I don't I don't have the desire to go back and actually flesh out all of these structures. So, but yeah. So then this way, by just kind of filling in, actually, we might. Yeah, no. Yeah, we'll just we'll just do it here. Um, by doing this the same exact kind of concept of just filling in these holes then what it'll do is it'll darken off the room on the inside and then from the outside you can't really tell that it doesn't continue going back unless you really look because like right now you can't tell those don't go deeper they just look like they're dark um there has been a concept of going through this after we're done building it in the daytime. I'm going to go back through it, and I might very well put lights in some of these structures uh, because one of the sequences that I am debating about, re or I'm, I'm kind of thinking about creating... <laughs> What in the world happened to this? Um, is the again is that sequence from the end of part one when Doc has to redo the light or do the wire and all that stuff, um, or maybe you know when you know the Marty gives him the note about the the future, but about any of that stuff. So, but by doing that, that all takes place at nighttime, which means this entire location would have to be done uh, to look good at night. So, what is nighttime? There you go. That's a good nighttime. So, as you can tell. Yep. Besides the 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 street lamps, which actually kind of work, um, those do really really well. Uh, they would this some of these buildings would require just like a couple lights in them just to have something. You know, <laughs> let there be some kind of ambience going on. Like uh, this probably would be a good spot to have. Uh, um, oops, oops, oops! Oh my! Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! There we go. Uh, <laughs> like we might do a. Uh, can we do a beacon? I don't like to rely on beacons all too well, too much, but like you could probably throw in here, uh, even though this would be closed technically at night. So we could do that, and then that would actually, you know, just just to give like a little bit of light in that location, just to kind of help light up that spot, and then throw like a couple of random lights in a couple of these structures to look like maybe somebody's, like maybe somebody's, like because this almost look this top part almost looks like that's where somebody would live. So then what we would do is we would just throw in a you know a light like uh, like there, you know, just uh, something to help kind of illuminate that top part. So if you ever did see it, it it does look like there's somebody up there, you know. That's stuff that we're gonna go. I I will again. I will do all of that off camera, and that'll be more the set decorating once we get closer to wanting to do the the machinima. Oh yeah, I forgot. I lined the whole uh, underside <laughs> in there with the uh, with glowstone, so that way the bats went away. And uh, yeah, it just kind of creepily looks like somebody's in the basement. Um, so yeah, so that's kind of where we are at. Let me throw this back on. Uh, nope. Yeah, that works. Well, we'll just go back to here. Yeah, yeah, yeah good enough. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where we're at right now with the build. Uh, like I said, I'm going to kind of end it short here for my talking and just, uh, you know, hopefully you guys enjoyed the time lapse. Um, it's a lengthy time lapse, so I don't want to go much longer. Uh, so the next episode, I will, I will in the time lapse, I will continue building down there. I'm going to leave the movie theater that's at the end of the street here. Uh, that will be done on camera. But uh, the rest of these buildings all the way down, and then the buildings on the other side of the street over there uh, will all be done on time lapse, just because they are they're tedious and <laughs> again, I know nobody really nobody probably wants to see that. So. Um, 
it's going to be kind of just a basic like i said it's going to be it's going to be a very simple build this is not going to be anything too complicated and i can kind of do like the basic layout i guess of this uh real quick here just to um let's do quartz because i think the quartz would just look a little bit better here actually we can do you let's do you um so yeah basically the way that this is structured so this is that's that those are the windows and then we have we will throw this this and this there we will throw another there and then the door will be there and then we can do quartz for you and then it comes back to the sand tile and then we got the stained clay stained clay because there is a window i think that's a window or actually that looks like a door doesn't it oh that looks like it goes in okay so actually there will end up being um a door here I wonder if we should just do that and then the door goes there and that comes there and that comes back because it looks like there's actually like a little bit of a drop in there and then we come back out to the tan and then we start the brick so yeah, okay i guess i'm gonna do this really quick here just so that way you guys can get like so this is the basic uh the basic layout of this structure um so yeah now that that's gonna come back out there i might actually use that sand again because that kind of looks cool and then i don't know if i have a screenshot close enough to this section this part is kind of where it gets into the back and it gets a little hazier to being able to see exactly what's back there um hold on guys hold on guys and girls oh that is that oh okay so that's a so that's a stand oh okay so that's the exact same thing as what we kind of just built so we're gonna go back there's gonna be a door there we're gonna come back out here and then it's gonna be what did i do here oh you know what i want to do i want to do that it's just making life a little easier so door is there and then we come back here and then there and then we go one two hmm yeah i don't want that okay so this is not entirely entirely accurate based upon how it's set up but is good oh and then this is the um okay so this actually we can use the black stained clay for which is nice because this is the spot where um biff gets his um this is where he goes and get the oil this one actually is sticking out so this is where the uh the, the car mechanic is this is where he is to get his oil so we're gonna do that and it's gonna be a door it's gonna come back up there and actually we'll cut back in so that is the one that will stick out because it does stick out in the actual uh the actual build um and then we're gonna go back here and then this one yeah like that bothers me like it's gonna be that basically this one is a door and these are steps that go up so we will use doop 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 it is raining again my goodness um there we go so these are these actually are stairs that go up to a upper floor so we're just gonna i'm just gonna do this real quick or not an upper floor but like a higher door like there's actually a a door about here just kind of always like a like a little it's a, it was a, it was an odd feature but it you know it definitely helps kind of break up the monotony of this and then that's that's this and this goes up to like i don't know like yay i and again we'll figure that out so there's that and then it is and again this is like this whole like this one this door this is all one building there's like a little peak above that and then now we're into this export next part here which is again wow they used a lot of black for that um I'll have to try to get better photos, and I think I can get better photos from part two when Marty is down here, because I don't seem to have a lot of good screenshots of that portion. So um, we will stop there for now. But you know that gives you just kind of a, a better idea right there of our of our, our fronts there. So we have this building. We have like a, this is the dress shop that Lorraine goes into, and then that's just a general store. And this is the uh, the general. <laughs> sorry this is the this is the auto mechanic and then a little up here and then there's another building right here and then the toyota uh dealership starts here and then um 
which will actually extend out a little bit more. And then there is a side road that goes here and a road that goes back this way because then the movie theater is pretty much right about through like here. So, and that'll be it. Then that's the that's whole side. So I will finish this entire side. I will leave the movie theater. So next time we'll finish this side on time lapse. We'll finish that side in time lapse. We'll build the movie theater. And then gang, this build is more or less done, at least for anything that I would need for the time being. So, um, yeah, it's exciting. I look forward to uh, I look forward to that once we get there. So, all right, guys. With that, I will go back up here and we'll get a nice little view of our budding courthouse square. Yeah. It doesn't look very impressive up here. So, all right, we're just going to come down here. Uh, <laughs> so, and with that, I am Jeff Bell, and I will see you guys next time on more Bit... I just hit the microphone. I'm an idiot. More Bit by Block. Catch you later, guys. Mm -hmm.